Okay guys, I wanted to do a video on my Oxbeam LED light bar that uh, I have on my Polaris Ranger. Uh, this is the X-Series bar from them. I've got a 12 incher on the front here. And um, what I want to do today is uh, a really cool feature on these lights is um, the replaceable filters that you can install on the light. Okay, so I just want to do a quick uh, little section on this video uh, showing you just how easy it is to change up your light uh, with these covers. Um, they just snap in. And pretty much customize them uh, however you however you want um, you can see right there I've got uh, just kind of a pattern going on that I think is cool this is what I've been running around with I think this gives me um, um, a good pattern uh, between flood and spot beam plus it gives me the amber look on the um, light which some people say that's 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 a better light for night and uh, bad weather conditions. So um, this is what I'm running, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside here. I'm going to back up. I'm going to aim this at the uh, garage door, and then we'll go out and uh, we'll we'll go to a spot in the field there, and we will uh, take a look and see what. Uh, what it looks like. Uh, then I'll be changing the filters around. Uh, we'll, we'll be doing different uh, different patterns, different filters, a few of them, and uh, we'll see how it changes the, the, the light. Okay, so like I said, this is the first one we're going to go with because this is what I have on. Um, I have the amber filters um, on all the X and all the X deals on the on the light. Uh, the rest of the light is just uh, no filters. Okay, guys. So there is the uh, the pattern on the shop there. Uh, you can see it's uh, got some amber look to it, and uh, it's pretty bright. So we'll go out in the field now, and we'll see what this looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like outside. There's a dark spot down there. That's the windshields up right now. That dark spot is usually not there, but uh, this is a look at it uh, outside, what it looks like. Um, like I said, good spot beam and flood beam pattern with... Uh... Okay, so I got the clear flood filters on each outside section. Uh, this is the way it comes from the factory. So I figured I'd show this one too. Okay, so there's a look at this one. Um, you can see it's got uh, quite a bit more spot pattern to it. And in the center there, and then the flood on the outside, which is what it should be. So we'll go get uh, a look at it in the field. Okay, so here it is out in the field. Um, you can see uh, a lot more spot, a lot more spot beam in the center there. And again, outside, you got a lot of flood to the sides. So I mean, this is a, this is a good uh, a pattern too. Okay, so the next one is uh, the clear flood filters on the entire light. We'll give that a try. Okay, so there's the all flood clear. We'll see what it looks like uh, in the field. 
Okay, so here's this one, and I really like this one, guys. Um, it is spreading a broad, a very, very broad flood pattern on this. Really, really nice uh, dispersal of the light. Um, really like this one. Okay, so now we got the uh, clear uh, flood on the two outside, and we got the amber flood on the two inside sections. We'll give this a try. Okay, so you can see there's quite a bit of amber in that light. This is probably a good setup for uh, um, if you're getting a lot of foggy nights that time of year or something, a lot of a lot of bad weather uh, days or something. Okay, so here it is out in the field. Um, I kind of like this one too. It does have that amber look. Um, again, a nice flood dispersion here. Um, a good uh, bad weather setup, I think. Um, and again, that dark spot down, down the, below the screen there, that is the window. Uh, the camera seems to focus better without a dirty windshield down, so that's why the windshield's up. Okay, so now we've got nothing on the two outside sections, spot beam, and we've got the amber flood in the two center sections. Let's see what this does. Okay, so that's kind of an interesting pattern there. I kind of wasn't expecting that. But uh, we'll give this a try out in the field. Okay, so there's that one. Again, kind of an interesting pattern, but uh, probably um, a good uh, bad weather deal again. So uh, I think I got time for maybe one more. Okay, so we've got all amber flood on the entire light. Interested to see what this one looks like. Okay, so there's that one. Definitely uh, an amber tint. Okay guys, so there's this one. And it almost feels easier on my eyes for some reason, all this all amber. Um, I mean, it still gives good light, but it almost seems like uh, less intrusive. You know, I don't know, this might work if you're uh, you know, going out deer hunting or something, you want less impact on the wildlife, this, uh, this might work out. Okay, so final one in this video. Uh, no filters whatsoever. All spot beam. This should be the brightest one. Okay, so there. Full spot beam. No filters. Okay, so there's this one. You can see it's a powerful spot beam. I can see uh, as far as I can see there. Uh, it's got it lit up. So uh, the sun's coming up now, guys. So this will be the end of the uh, the uh, light show. Okay, guys. So that's a look at uh, Ox Beams X Series uh, LED light bars. Uh, look, a look at uh, kind of the variations of uh, the filters they have. Uh, I mean, possibilities are almost endless on what you can do, combinations. Uh, they also have um, other colors. Um, they have red, blue, um, and green, along with the amber and the clear. And uh, if, you, if you want to get crazy. But uh, uh, very versatile light. Um, one of the big reasons uh, I really enjoy this light is uh, pretty much uh, unlimited on the customizability on this thing.
So that's gonna do it for me guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.